Hello, I'm Ed Rajat, Professor of Entomology at Penn State and the coordinator for Penn State Extension's Integrated Pest Management Program. One of our goals is to provide information to the general public about the safe and effective management of pests, including insects, diseases, rodents, and others. We do this for the agricultural industry as well as the general public. If you are part of the traveling public, bed bugs are definitely a concern. In this course, you will learn about the biology of bed bugs as well as how to manage your stay in hotels and motels to avoid bed bugs. And if the worst happens and you bring those bed bugs home with you, how to manage a home infestation. Let's get started. Bed bug biology and behavior. Don't let the bed bugs bite is a phrase many of us have said and heard since childhood. It is still relevant today especially if you travel a lot. All travelers should be aware of the increase in bed bug infestations worldwide due to the growth in the number of people traveling to many destinations. While these parasites do feed on human blood, they do not cause or transmit diseases. However, the itchy red welts caused by the saliva in their bites can be annoying, and the mere idea of bed bugs is just downright creepy. However, knowledge, not fear, is the key to defending yourself against bed bugs. If you are going to be traveling, it is always a good idea to take some simple precautions, as unsuspecting travelers can encounter bed bug infestations and unknowingly transport bed bugs from place to place, including other hotels or home. If you are going to be traveling, this short course is designed to cover some bed bug basics for you their appearance, life characteristics, and behavior. To start with, what do bed bugs look like? Size-wise, they are quite small. In fact, adults are only about a quarter of an inch long, almost the size of an apple seed. Here you can see an adult in comparison to the size of a dime. Bed bugs range in color from brown to reddish brown, are oval shaped, flat, and paper thin when unfed. When they have had a blood meal, however, their bodies become fuller and more rounded, as you can see on this slide. The bed bugs on the left are unfed, and the ones on the right are fed and their shapes have changed. Immature bed bugs are tiny, as small as a sixteenth of an inch, and nearly colorless except after a blood meal, when they become bright red, like the one you see in this slide. Another question to address is, how do bed bugs live? Bed bugs are wingless and hide in tiny cracks and crevices called harborages during the day. Nighttime is their most active time when they scurry around in search of a blood source. Females lay batches of oval-shaped eggs one sixteenth of an inch long in protected areas of their environments. Pictured are a greatly enlarged image of two eggs with bed bugs in them and one shell from which a bed bug has already hatched. The red dots are the developing bed bug's eye spots. After blood feeds, immature bed bugs will shed their skin or molt five times before becoming adults. In this picture, you can see a shed skin after a bed bug has molted. Adults and nymphs all require blood feeds for growth and development. However, immature bed bugs can live several months without a blood meal. Adults may survive as long as one year without a meal. A third and vital question is, what are the signs of a bed bug infestation? In addition to bites or itchy areas on your skin, there are four basic signs of bed bugs eggs, cast skins, fecal spots, and live bed bugs. Eggs are too tiny to see with the naked eye, but cast off skins, while also small, can be seen, as seen here in comparison with a penny. Live bed bugs, if visible, are most likely to be found in hiding places in or around the bed. As they feed, bed bugs digest blood and defecate, leaving behind small marks similar to those that might be made by a ballpoint pen. These are known as fecal spots and can range from black to brown to red in color, although the majority will be blackish brown. Fecal spots are most likely to be found on mattresses and sheets and will usually be slightly raised from the surrounding wood or fabric. Bed bugs are very quick and will run away from the light if you uncover them, so it is possible to not see them easily. They are difficult to control because their small size enables them to hide almost anywhere. On mattresses and bed frames, cracks and crevices in walls, under peeling paint, or behind wall sockets and light switches. 
Bed bugs only stay long enough to feed before moving away to hide and digest, so it is fairly rare to find adults on or around your body after they have fed. In conclusion, being able to identify all of the life stages of bed bugs, as well as being familiar with their behavior, are both important factors in better understanding how to detect, prevent, and eradicate them, not fear them.